The date, the 30th of August, 1967. On this day, the first black appointee to the United States Supreme Court was confirmed by a vote in the Senate. Thurgood Marshall was born Thurgood Marshall on the 2nd of July, 1906. In 1929, he graduated from Lincoln University with a BA in Humanities before attending the Howard School of Law, which he graduated from as first in his class in 1933. As soon as he graduated, Marshall opened a law office in Baltimore and the following year represented the local chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP, in a suit challenging the University of Maryland Law School's policy of segregation, the University of Maryland being Marshall's first choice of university, which he did not, however, apply to because of such policy. Marshall won the case, bringing him recognition as an adept lawyer, and was brought onto the national staff of the NAACP in 1936, becoming the organization's chief legal counsel in 1940. Perhaps his most well-known case as a lawyer was Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka, a case culminating from Marshall's previous efforts in battling segregation in public institutions. A landmark case, and a case ultimately very important to the black rights movement, Marshall won. On the 17th of May, 1954, the United States Supreme Court unanimously came to the decision that racial segregation in public schools was unconstitutional and that separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. President John F. Kennedy nominated Marshall to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit in 1961, where he remained until succeeding President Lyndon B. Johnson appointed him Solicitor General in 1965, which made him the first black American to hold the position. On the 12th of June, 1967, Tom C. Clark, a U.S. Supreme Court Justice, retired from the court, creating an open seat. The following day, Johnson nominated Marshall to succeed Clark. Marshall effectively became a Supreme Court Justice after confirmation by a vote in the Senate, with the results of 69 to 11, on the 30th of August, 1967. He was sworn in on the 2nd of October in the same year. Marshall was an opponent of the death penalty and strong advocate of protecting individual rights with constitutional law. His work as a lawyer and as a justice was important for the black rights movement and for cementing racial equality in United States law. He retired in 1991 and died in 1993. I'm Wilfred Cunningham. Everything becomes history. Until next time, goodbye.